They keep showing up at all these hospitals despite being physically exhausted and mentally frazzled. Nurses at Christmas weekend when ICUs in this region hit 104% capacity. The ratio of nurse to patient isn't what it used to be, and shifts can typically run well beyond a scheduled 12-hour stretch. It's a sacrifice, and this is what nurses and healthcare professionals do. They sacrifice on a daily basis. It's, I think it's truly ingrained. It's part of the essence of who they are. And they give. They give to others more than they give to themselves. Tiffany Mattingly, an RN herself, says most nurses who work tomorrow are probably celebrating Christmas with family today. Although given the surge, staff shortage, and serious lack of bed capacity, some might miss the holiday altogether. At a one-year anniversary of when the vaccines became available, it's literally devastating and heartbreaking that we are in this condition that we are now. These deaths are preventable. So community members, if you're not vaccinated, get vaccinated. If you've been vaccinated but not boosted, get boosted. Artworks hope to boost the morale of healthcare workers with a mural honoring what they do. Christmas or not, they're doing it. They're dealing with very critically ill patients whose families are celebrating you know, without them on this wonderful holiday. And they're not looking for sympathy. They're looking for recognition, recognition that this is an issue, that this is a problem, and that there is a way to help solve it. And that way, according to several doctors, nurses, and medical professionals we've heard from this week, is to get fully vaccinated, which they believe will relieve the pressure of the current surge they're feeling. Reporting live at UC Medical Center, John London, WOWT News 5.